If you're new to the project, a big one welcome. If you're a tough old root, then welcome back. Today is about adding boxes to the honey bee hives. You're watching Steep in the Woods. I'm Josh. I'm Celia. And this is our daughter, Ivy. Here at Steep in the Woods, we are 100% off grid. We live on a 14 acre mountain top homestead nestled deep in the Appalachian Mountains of North Carolina. Here on Steep in the Woods, we do totally off-grid on a shoestring budget. You'll see no fancy stuff here. It's just making do with what you have and what you can figure out. So it's time to put on new uh, uh, boxes on our beehives. Uh, I don't know how they are doing, but we're about to find out. Uh, you know, I've really been impressed with these Hoover hives. The ones that I bought, you do have to assemble them, but it's not bad at all. You just you just throw them them suckers together. It's super obvious. It's nothing you need a degree for. Just get your hammer. Uh, we're using a towel and a pallet uh, that's screwed onto a uh, a stump of a tree. But you know you could go with something lesser and put them together. Once you do that, put on your suit. Oh. 
and head up to the bees with these finished boxes. Well, my, spoke, my smoker took a dump on me, so we're going to go back to the uh, sugar water. Break out our pocket knife. Crack this little dude open. Absolutely beautiful. They've got uh, seven of the eight combs full. Well, these guys are absolutely ready for a new box. Rock and roll. So I got the new box here. While there's no bees on the actual wood of the deal, just put your box on. Oh, look at that. Boys, we're getting official as hell now. Two boxes. You can hear them. I mean, obviously you can hear them. They're friggin' everywhere, but... Nice. God, that's beautiful. That is an amazing deal. So this uh, uh, hive right here had basically all eight frames full in two months. That is amazing. This is a rock and roll hive. I don't know that the other one will be quite as good, but hopefully. So I went ahead and put the queen excluder on the top of this one just to save ourselves that much effort the next time. Put your top, top box back on, just like that. Put your new and improved fancy pants steep in the woods roof on it. I did. Hey, uh, you know, important tool here to brush your bees off of the side get them all back come on boys you got to not get squished uh, brush them on your own leg and set your roof right back on like that wow that's nice Rock and roll. So one of your colonies will always be stronger. That's the one that we did first. This one is weaker, but still just as legitimate a deal. I fired my smoker back up, but honestly, you don't really need it. You can just use sugar water. That's as good as anything. Well, never mind. Smoker died again. Son of a... Got it going again. Yep, 
interested to see how this one differs. It should be the same. They should be both doing decent. And that smoker's out again. Forget smokers, just use sugar water. The bees like it more. It don't, you know, let you down. Why be? Now see that that's what happens when it gets too big. It's just I should have done this sooner, I just did not have the time. Now the bees will reuse this. We don't necessarily have to do anything with it. They will remove it, uh, clean it up, do whatever they, they want to. They can keep their own house. Uh, but that, that is a sign that you know you probably should have done it sooner. That's all right. The first two boxes are just for the bees. We ain't going to be collecting any honey out of these first two boxes. Rock and roll. Put your top knot back on. Of course, you know I might scrape some of this off. Give it to, give it to see you. Hook her up with a little bit of, a little bit of uh, stuff here. And put it on top of that useless smoker. Them. You know what? Let's take our. Uh, I'm gonna take my uh, handy tandy Dollar Tree brush here. Just brush them dudes right in the hive. Come on, fellas, ladies, whatever. Give them a little drink of sugar water to calm them all down. It's all right. Now we can remove this cone here. Just help them clean up a little bit. Plus, I think Celia would really like me bringing her down some cone. There's even a little bit of honey in it. Roof back on. However, you can manage it. Oh, I guess that's on. Replace our bricks. Gather up our supplies, like your pocket knife, your brush, you know, the them super important, you know, them tools that only officials can have. Sugar water. And your spoils. Boy, I'm gonna have to find something cool to do with that. And there we go. It's that easy. I'm gonna let them relax and we'll come back and visit them in like another month or so. Put on a, a third box.
And boys, it's, it's, it's that easy. So many people are freaked out about honeybees, and honestly, even myself to, to a certain degree, but they ain't, they ain't a thing to be worried about. Nothing. I mean, I just cracked these people's hives open. I blew smoke in their butts. Uh, you know, I added boxes. I mean, they don't, I don't know that they necessarily register that that was a beneficial thing for them yet. And you know what? I'm going to pull my gear off right here. Because I ain't going to bother you. Woo! Although it is hot. Hot, hot. Wow. You want to talk about some legitimate looking hives now. These suckers are huge. So my thinking is, and we'll have to play it by ear, that uh, we might be able to get one more box on them uh, in enough time for them to use it. So. About two months from now, if I still feel like there's plenty of, of, of uh, harvestable, uh, harvestable uh, 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 food for them and, and, and enough time for them to make use of that box, I will put on the third one. I doubt we're going to get honey this first year. But I can tell by looking at them and by just, just, just their level of product, uh, productivity that we're going to have a lot next year. So keep your eyes peeled for Steep in the Woods, honey. Uh, you know, hey, it won't be cheap, but I mean, dude's got only got two, right? I mean, if you like what you saw, hit that button. If you're new to the project, hit that other button. If you want to help support the project? There are links below. I would encourage you to turn on your notifications, and I'll see you here, steep in the woods, next time.